Okay, well, let's talk about the Abbot. Oh, yeah. Well, there's this one verse in the Pirki Avot 1 4, uh, which is a commentary on the Mishnah, and it explains we should invite our leaders into our homes and sit in the dust of their feet while they teach us and respect what they're teaching us. Okay, so be hospitable, honor your leaders, and value the teaching they give you. Yep. I mean, that's not directly in scripture, but it does sound pretty good. Oh, and make sure you follow your rabbi every day so closely so that the dust that he kicks up while he walks around would land on you because you're so close so that you can become like them and then do more than them. Yeah, but what you just said, that wasn't in the text. No, it's not actually in there. I, I actually have no idea who first said that or where it's written originally. So we're basing this whole definition on someone's interpretation off of one part of one sentence of a commentary that's not even directly connected with an actual Bible verse. Uh, do you mind if I ask Dr. Michael Brown his opinion? Well, see, he's written 35 books and he runs a school and he's a visiting professor and he's considered the world's foremost Jewish apologist. Um, I'm going to present him with your definition and interpretation and just see what he thinks. Yeah, so according from Pirkei Avot, remember, this is a document from the third century. So we don't know exactly what practices were in the first century. We know what they were a few centuries later uh, as Pharisaical Judaism became Rabbinic Judaism. But we don't even know exactly what those practices were. Hey everybody, what you just saw was a conversation that current me wished I could have had with previous me. See, I was told that there was this whole theology and doctrine based off of this verse in the Abbot that was based off of scripture. But when I did my research, I couldn't find the theology and doctrine really anywhere. And the Abbot, when I read it, said something completely different. Not to mention, I felt I really, though the Abbot could be fine for some, some understandings, in general, it, I don't think it's the best source that we should be going to. It's a big hodgepodge of a bunch of different rabbis and traditions all meshed together. Some of it contradicts, some of it's from around Jesus' time, some of it's from way later, way earlier. It's all over the place, so it's real easy to pick and choose what you want. And on top of it, I couldn't even find the direct connection that the Abbot had that verse had even with scripture. So what I just encourage is when somebody tells you something, especially if it's not in scripture, go search it. Even if even if you find the reference, go ahead and read it. Read what's before, read what's after. Um, it's just a really good tool that, that anyone, whether you're a Christian or not, should be doing with anything anyone's given. And with what I'm saying, hey, go look the verse up for yourself. You might be surprised what it says or it doesn't say. And if you'd like to read more about this or any of the topics connected to it, send me a message. I'd love to give you some content. I even have a 30-page super detailed review I'd be happy to give you. Anyway, grace and peace. Blessings.